Hi, I'm Simon from the Red Ferret and today I have a beautiful box in front of me. It's the ProBox 2 Air Plus Android TV box as we call it. Some quick specifications about the Android TV box. It has an Amalogic Octa-Core 64-bit processor with 3 gigabytes of DDR4 uh, memory and internal storage up to 32 gigs of internal storage which is good. It has a dual band, a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.0 and the operating system is uh, Android of course with Marshmallow 6.0. Video output can go up to 4K with 60 frames per second and 1000 megabytes per second Ethernet as well. Included in the package we have the ProBox 2 Air Plus, a power adapter, an ER remote, E-A-N-L-A, uh, I can't talk. HDMI cable, which is very nice. And a user manual. Packaging is done very nice. I like it. This is the Pro Box. <whistles> very slim. Very lightweight as well. So it's the Air Plus. We have an USB input here, micro SD card input as well. And then on the front we have an LED light, which you can see over there. Power plug, USB as well, HDMI cable and ethernet port. And this is uh, an infrared uh, SPDF EFI for um, your controller. I hope there are batteries included in the box. So it's a remote plus, it's a very special remote. Um, it's actually a gaming remote, I guess. So it has a microphone, it has game buttons on it. Oh, you can do gaming mode vertical or gaming mode horizontal. <laughs> and you can even do a Skype call with your remote plus. Tom, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Talking into my remote, but yeah. Very nice, I'm very interested in how it works. This is the receiver, I guess, for the remote plus. I have two remotes, the normal remote, of course, and then the remote plus, which looks and feels more like a gaming remote. All right, so first negative thing I have to say is that there are no batteries included, so that will be a problem. I'll have to find some batteries. These buttons, are the gaming buttons it says Y X B and A and then we have the volume controls over here OK button and then uh, the pad of course the home button and uh, the speaker hello this is Simon speaking it's not going to work you're not going to see a lot about the box here so let's switch over to the telly in one two three I have to be honest it's the next day, so I shot the previous part yesterday because I had some issues setting up the device. It works, don't get me wrong, it works, but I had some Wi-Fi problems for some reason. The Wi-Fi wasn't connecting, so I used Ethernet, which was very good. But I had to download Asphalt to show you guys, guys how fast it was. And I couldn't download Asphalt via Ethernet, via cable. So I had to download Asphalt via Wi-Fi. So I had problems setting up Wi-Fi. I had problems with this thing. And, and I didn't really understand the device. It all took a long time. But now after some night's rest, some good rest, and some, play, some playing with the device, it works. And it works fast. And now I can finally show you what it's all about. So. Firstly, we have the uh, home screen, of course, which you can change down here uh, with these two arrows you see over here. You can change the launcher. For example, now I have a different launcher. Um, so you can see all the apps, more, uh, and then you have the home, but I'm going to change the launcher again. So different launchers that you can change down there. Then we have the settings where you can change everything you want. Network, apps, sounds, accessories, date and time, language, and so on and so on. But of course you are here for the fastness of this thing. Oh, also, 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 I have to mention down here, you can see USB, Ethernet, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Wi-Fi is connected so it's lighting up and then you can also have the weather 
in the top right corner but there is no city uh, mentioned right now so we have Google over here let's see um, I can change the uh, settings of this remote I'm going to change remote to the pointer or how do you call it as you can see the pointer it works very well I have to say that it works very very well as you can see woo. and then if I go OK Google Uh, search red ferret That works works perfectly. There's a mic over here, and there we go, so I'm going to close this one for now, and it works very fast over Wi-Fi. Oh I know how to scroll. I know how to scroll. Oh All right, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I know how to scroll you have to keep pressing the ok button with the pointer and then oh this is so much easier wow all right so yeah browsing perfect quality Hello. quality is very good of the video for an Android TV box it can go up to 4k of course this video over there is not 4k it's my video but it's good it's good quality sound is good but the sound is coming from the television of course so YouTube works and works fast what do we have for interesting apps uh, we have the fishing joy uh, game which is a fishing game I'm not going to show you that one because it's not that heavy so I installed asphalt 8 it took a long time to install and download because of the Wi-Fi problems but now it's installed and I have to say it's amazing you just you just need to see this I noticed that you can only change the remote while playing or while you're in a game and after that it, it keeps that gaming remote but when you click the button you can't change it back to the gaming remote if you understand what I mean so I'm going to play uh, in gaming style so like this oh no wrong button all right yeah this is gaming all right all right, all right, all right. we're off we're off as you can see, it runs very smooth, and then... Ooh, drifting! Drifting is, not, is, is, is weird, I guess. It's a lot weirder than, than when you would play it on a, another device, but of course you have to play it with remotes. But it works, it works very well. I finished third place, which is okay, but as you can see, it looks very good. It looks very good, it works very well, and yeah, good one, good one. You have Kodi pre-installed as well, and if you guys know Kodi, you can use it to watch television shows or movies. Actually, I'm going to show you Kodi, but... Uh, because of uh, legal uh, notices or how do you call it um, the library is empty when you start but of course there are ways to get around this and uh, because I like you guys I'm going to make a video on how you can uh, uh, install Kodi uh, on this device and uh, I'm going to link it down below when it's done we have Netflix we have the Play Store which works very well uh, as you can see, we'll go in the placer and look how fast it mounts. It's the device is very fast, very fast. I like it. And yeah, we have a uh, nice task killer which kills all the tasks that are uh, running at the moment uh, to get that device running fast every time. I would say if you're looking for an Android TV box for your television, which is not a smart TV, for example, I would definitely recommend this device. It works very smooth. But it works very smooth when you're a little used to it. In the beginning I wasn't really used to this and how all these buttons worked. And that's why I waited a day to make my review. The Wi-Fi wasn't exactly working. But uh, the guys from Probox were uh, very helpful. I sent them a mail. They, say, they said, okay, uh, reset your device, do the factory update and, and all that stuff. And I didn't do that, but the next day or the next few hours I, I looked at the device and it works worked perfectly. So positive things, it works very fast, 
It has a lot of storage. It can run the biggest uh, and, and the heaviest apps. It has Kodi pre-installed and it's very small, portable. It looks very cool. So negative things, problems with the Wi-Fi in the beginning, which I could fix, of course. And yet maybe the uh, Remote Plus, which is a little weird at, at, at some points. But yeah, when you, when you figure out how it works, it works well. And that's maybe a negative point. If you're new to this, you'll have to figure some things out yourself uh, when you're, you have to play a little with it. And maybe that, that's the thing you like, getting to know the device, of course. All right, I wanna thank you for watching this video and uh, there are coming more reviews soon. So if you have any questions regarding this device, I'm going to keep playing with it the next uh, coming weeks and months. Leave them in the comment section down below and I'll be glad to answer them. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, leave a like that, that, bleh. And if you did, leave a like down below and I hope I'll see you in our next video. Bye bye.